Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is still silent to this day. And today we're going to be checking out Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition on the Steam Deck. So I'm going to check out to see what kind of uh, community pads they have, templates, gamepad with joypad, uh, or joystick trackpad. So let's see, it says it's unsupported, or it's unknown, I should say. There's no official yes or no. So we're going, we're going to... Uh, Pop it up and see what happens. I'm going to try a uh, Mega 10 Edition instead of Classic and see what happens. See if we can't get this loaded. I don't see why I wouldn't. And one of these days I will probably film the updated one. I, I do have it, unfortunately. But one day. Let's do LA Knight. Let's do Piece of Cake, just for fun. Okay, let's... Oh, it actually shows FPS in the game. That's pretty cool. Nardi has a control. Okay, you can't go up and down. That's cool. Oh yeah. This is pretty cool. Okay, so X is to open and interact. Oh, so you can do it. Oh, so if you press the right stick, it gives you more of the traditional. If you press in on it, it moves around. That's cool. Okay, that's still trying to shoot you. Sister Act 3, ah. Yeah, there was some uh, adult levels in here. Hail to the king, baby. Oh, these guys are just trying to enjoy the games on the arcade. And Mr. Newcomb has to go and uh, destroy it. Ooh, that's, that's going to leave a mark. We got a secret area here. Oh, I don't know they have third person. Oh, hologram nuke. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it froze right there for some reason. Oh, so there's actually 
Phantom Moon. Yeah, we won't show that, people. It's... <laughs> 2007? Uh-oh. This already came and gone. There's gotta be a place around here somewhere to go. I hear monsters around here, so... There's gotta be a place to go around here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Oh, I need some help. There we go. Can we go this way? There's some dude trying to go to the bathroom. I always kind of like these retro games, you know, it's a... Uh, you just get to explore a different time frame that just... It was, it's really cool. You kind of get to see uh, what's happening. You know, this is very rem reminiscent of uh, the Doom games. Every so often we get that weird freezing, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I know this game says it's unsupported, but even so, it makes you wonder, well, why, why is it doing what it's doing, but it's all good. Unfortunately, with a lot of these retro games that you play, you start to realize that you can get lost really easily. There's no mini map to really to speak of in some of these. And sometimes you have no idea where to go. But if I recall, I think you have to go out, back out this way. I could be gravely mistaken. I, I haven't played this in a long time. I thought you could shoot through that. Maybe you can't. But there's also just something very nostalgic about playing these retro levels. Really cool. You get to experience what the game developers thought of back then about what makes a good level, and nowadays it's completely different from when it was from when it was uh, back then in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s even. He always has his cat phrases. Kind of reminds me of uh, like the postal dude. Which one of these days I'm going to play, which maybe hint hint hint, hint pretty soon. Uh, yeah, postal two. But. Okay, I like to say I know where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that. But as y'all can see, the yeah the game plays pretty nicely aside from just those weird graphical issues and uh, frame drops 
So if you're really interested in playing this, I definitely recommend you playing it if you want to experience kind of retro history and retro gaming on the Steam Deck. That yeah, this is this works. So it just works. So so yeah, uh, definitely check it out if you're interested in the game. It runs at 60 FPS. Aside from those weird frame drops, it might be just because of old hardware trying to emulate on a newer hardware. I don't know, but. Yeah, with that, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that comment button. Uh, comment any of, your, any of your favorite parts of the video. Um, comment any other future game videos you want to see played on here. Um, yeah, also be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fun stuff. So with that, I thank you for watching again, and I hope you have a great and fantastic day. And you know what? Hail to the chief, baby. <laughs> Take care.